Hello, YouTube. It's a plantation and Mustang here. Yes, and we are hunting together right now, as you can see. And I am a uh, merchant. Right now we got plantation. You are a legion, level 4. You're going to be uh, level 5 soon, so mm -hmm. it's really nice. And today we're just going to be talking about classes in general now. We're not doing any guides to specific classes. Those will certainly be coming in the future, because... Us two here, we love talking about classes. Yeah, so. classes are my favorite part yes, of this game. They, they're just so so much fun, and what stinks is you really can't try them all. I mean, you can. Um, I've been so many classes, and we'll talk about we'll talk about that. For, you know, I'm sure, but we're just gonna take a, you know, just a quick overview, looking at classes and giving some quick thoughts. So let's uh, start with what classes you were. I think I should start because I've only been uh, two classes, two and ninja, then I'll right? let I'll you ninja. Let, yeah. I was Ninja for a while. I remember Ninja used to be OP. Yeah. So uh, before the new classes came out, Ninja used to be really, really good, good, incredibly yes. good. So was. I was always like, first thing I did was get three chi and then uh, get Ninja. Yeah. So. And what's nice too is if you're a noob and you can't really buy good gear, shop this tree. Oi Oi Master gives you unarmed bonus. Uh, yes, of like plus twenty. So a plus twenty weapon if you're a noob. If you're poor, if you can't buy, you can one. take on strongs. Yeah. Pretty... You can take on strongs. Maybe vicious. So. Not too bad. Now, the other class that you've been is uh, Legion. Legion. And I've been Legion for so long. Yes, I was Legion as well. I've been Legion. I was also... Um, Moving circle, is that okay? Yes, I was also Ninja. And with Legion, what's cool is, as I... This is something I always recommend. You don't need the scale mail or the breastplate. You only need... Right? Mm -hmm. And as you can see, he's taken my advice. Now, if you look at, you know, me... Right there with my fancy red hat. I do have some armor on, but that is because I'm a knight. And mm -hmm. it's a little different. You know? I think... Because I don't get as many um, shield bonuses, so... I kind of rely on the scale mail a little bit. When I was a legion. Now, you got to keep in mind, I'm merchant now, so that's... You know, I'm not getting many bonuses at all. And, and not getting it. Well, besides tactics, yeah. of course. Because, yeah, it's tactics and... As I explained, basically I get six bonus damage when I have level six tactics, which right now I do. As you can see, I'm staying on aggressive because I'm reading about classes, so we can talk about these. Now let's uh, proceed and we'll we'll talk about you know just more classes sort of as they're tiered off here. So we have assassin, um, not too good. I don't I don't think assassin too good anymore. Used to be great. Yeah, it used to be great because you had the silent burn. As what I mean by that is this is a long time ago too. This is you know two years ago. Um, you used to be able to attack somebody's flag, and I think at level 5, there was a 95% chance that it would say, an unknown assassin has burned your flag, or whatever. And that's great. Flag. And that means you could be burning your best friend, and he 95% of the time, he wouldn't know. But let me tell you, if that didn't work, it would add them as an enemy, and then they'd know. And you'd It wouldn't to, add them as an enemy? Yes, because it's like regularly attacking. If, if the 95% chance failed, it'd add them as an enemy. So, let's say I'm burning you. Uh oh, five percent of the time, you know, it fails. So it adds you as an enemy, and it'd tell you that I'm attacking one of your flags. But that's still great, ninety-five yeah. percent. So what I'd have to do, I'd have to be like, "Oh, plantation, sorry, that was a misclick." <laughs> and then you'd have to like ask for passage back. So you could burn your friends. It's a, it's a do you want to chop these trees? You can chop the trees because I'm getting yeah, all this fun. stuff. Uh, Oyo master. Now, ne neither of us have been Oyo master, but. Basically, you know, you get plus three with your staffs and your slings, plus three with tunics. That's also a really good tunic bonus. Um, also slows nearby enemies by, you know, minus 30, and you heal twice as fast when you're unaggressive. And then you have also 6% chance to stun an enemy for five seconds, okay? Uh, I'm going to use taunt, so just to, to demonstrate it. You're going to have to help me out, though. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I'm taking on this. That. So, uh, that epic dragon's coming <laughs> over. He's a... Uh... So what do you remember? You've dueled a uh, oi oi master. Oi oi master. I gotta say the five second stun was pretty nice. It was. It, yeah, it just completely messed me up. I had a twenty five and a twenty six, twenty five armor. Yeah. And it, I don't know what happened. It just chewed me up. Yeah. It's, you know, the stun he was. You might want to. Locked away. Yeah, I'm getting a little beat up. It's all right. Healing up. So, master, I think it's all right. It's what I will say is it's really hard to find a good sling. And uh, they use... No one upgrades slings yeah. at all. And even staffs. Do you want this sometimes. leather? No, it's fine. You can take it. Okay. I, have, I have a bunch of leather on me, like nearly a thousand, I think. So now we have Thief. Now, what you know, Plantation loves about Thief, and I didn't even realize this. I kind of overlooked 40 it. 40 movement yeah. speed bonus. 40. So you have the most speed bonus in the game. Yeah. 
Now, we t- we didn't, you know, go into the stats too much about Ninja, but I think you get plus 30. When ninja, yeah, you get plus 30 with everything else, except yeah. Ranger gets plus 10. Yeah. And 10% chance to dodge on Ninja, so that's that's all right. Yeah, I that's... mean, you don't get a tunic bonus, but plus movement speed. You are flying. <laughs> and you're wearing leather armor, so leather armor is light armor. Yeah, it's, it's only gonna... 10 movement speed, like, encumbrance, so... And you also get plus three with daggers and brass knuckles, so you can choose what you want. Um, and you also can steal 5,000 gold, you know, from a defeated player. That's and not that useful. You also do have a 2% chance of plus 1,500 gold when you defeat humanoid monsters. So, so that's actually pretty good. If you 2%. kill trolls normally in Trodents. Yeah. 2%. It's, yeah. It's all right. Now, the 5%, stealing 5% from a player, I don't think that's that great. You know? It's not. It's not, so. It's really not that much, and it's hard to really kill people have you uh told them what classes you've been oh so far yes I'm, as we're going through these okay, so okay i have not been thief uh warrior i've not been warrior i know it sounds like i haven't been a lot of classes guys don't worry believe he's me. been a ton of classes i've been a ton it's coming up so we have warrior uh you get plus two with axes and then you also basically i'm not going to read through it all but you get your axe becomes stronger when your hp threshold basically lowers so for example if your hp is below 25 percent you get plus three with your axe. So add that up, you know, you have plus two, so you get plus uh, five when you're, like, really hurt, and you also get plus 50 max HP. Now, you got to think, you know, before you go switching, you got to say, okay, so 50 more HP, it sounds too good to be true, true. Mm-hmm. too good, you know, to be true, and, well, basically, you're getting the extra HP, but you're not getting the Defensive extra Defensive bonus. So it's sort of a trade-off. I still think it's a really great class, and if you have credit. good gear, anyways, if you have great armor, yeah. you're not. It's not going to be a big deal. It's not like you're getting absolutely no bonuses with yeah. your armor. I mean, you might want to consider getting a ring that gives you a, a bonus, but but then you want to get your uh, as you want your health lower so you can get that bonus with the axe and you can absolutely shred people. Now we have uh, knight. So with knight, you get plus three with swords, plus two with heavy armor. You also get plus three with shields versus ranged weapons. One thing I do got to say is. Uh, with knight, you know that it's only your shield bonus. There is really only for the range thing, so it's not going to be helping you in close range. And I was knight, as you can see, I have knight gear on. You know, I have my uh, my sword, my um, was it scale mail. So it's you know it's okay, and it I just it didn't feel like great for me. You know what I mean? It didn't feel. Knights and okay, it's oh, average. Okay. It's, yeah, it's not I'd say good. That, that's pretty much what I'd say. It's, it's very average. And Legion's better. And that's what we talk about next, but we hit that one first. I, I just think Legion's better. And we didn't, you know, talk about the Legion stats. So you get plus three with uh, spears. You also get plus two with shields. And then you can get plus one with shields for every friendly shield wearer nearby. Max of plus four. Now, I don't have plus five yet because I'm obviously a lower level. Yeah. But plus four, you get a .75 instead of uh, one, so yep. that's still a decent amount. And it and does work with the trolls. That's yes, I hunt with trolls, and uh, all my troll minions have shields, so that's I get the bonus from yep. the trolls, so it's amazing hunting. So that's a skill that you definitely should consider. Uh, now we're going to talk about Militia. Militia is a great, great all-around class. Yes. class. So you use your, your crossbows at close range, similar to how Ninja uses the shuriken at close range, you get plus three with crossbows, plus three with heavy armor versus ranged weapons only. And you get uh, 25% heavy armor. That means it slows you less. And you also get um, crossbow attacks. They're 25% less likely to be dodged. Now that 25% you know, less likely chance to uh, dodge, it really only works against those classes who are going to be dodging. So if you're a PvP kind of person, it makes Militia just such a great class. You take, like, against Ninja... Ninja has no uh, yeah. chance against. Because 40% dodge chance, minus the 25, they're going to be dodging 15% of the time, and you're just going to be wrecking them. Because yeah. The only thing that Ninja has defensively armor. is that uh, little uh, dodge boost. Yeah. So if you take away their dodge boost, Ninja just can't uh, stand Fight. up against other exactly. classes. So now we're going to be talking about Ranger. I have been uh, Ranger. Oh, you have militia. been Militia too. Uh, yes. Yes, I was a militia multiple times because it's such a great class. Um, so with Ranger, we have, you know, it's it's an okay class, I'll say, overall. But we'll, we'll get to it again. Uh, so we get plus three with longbows and swords, plus 50 range with longbows, 
plus 10 base speed, and plus 2 with leather armor versus melee attacks only. So, the plus 50 range, that is, it is pretty nice. It's, if you're wondering how much that is, it's, it's not that much, slightly noticeable. Like, is it from, uh, me to you here? What'd you say? I, I can't, I can't remember it now, but I, I know I did a little bit of testing, and it was, I, it may be a centimeter, you know, <laughs> on your screen. It was, it was okay. Um, uh, you do get only plus 10 base speed, mm -hmm. and so I'd recommend boots or a, an ice bow, because, you know, with an ice bow, you really, you know, as ranger, you really want to keep your enemies far away. So, you don't want to be having to use your sword. You do get a um, de uh, defense uh, boost yes. against uh, melee you, attacks, so yeah, if, you're if it comes down to it. And what I would say, because you get that plus two with your leather armor, you should not be wearing a shield. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. You should not be wearing a shield. Just lowers mobility, and it doesn't really benefit yeah. you at all. Because you want your leather... You, you should be using the leather armor, really, because you have that little bonus of plus two at you know, melee. So Next, we have Mercenary now. <laughs> mm, probably the worst combat class. It's... It's okay when you, like, look over it, but <laughs> it doesn't really... It's very situational, and... It... I just can't see it working. So... It's, it's a very complicated class, so I'm going to do my best that I can to explain without making this video too long as we're not talking about an individual class. That's mm -hmm. something we can get more into depth. But basically, you get plus two with spears and crossbows, so those are the two weapons you'll be using. And you get plus one uh, with leather armor and no shield, plus two at melee. So, again, no shield. This is an absolutely no shield. Like, it actually, you know, the description actually says basically don't use the shield. <laughs> And you have an insight bonus that basically it builds up every 15 seconds. Um, you're, you get this plus one insight bonus with spheres, uh, spears against uh, your spheres. target. Spheres. Yes. <laughs> so against players, it takes 30 seconds to build up. So if you're fighting somebody for a very long time, the insight bonus is going to uh, build up, but only with your spear. And remember, you can't use shield charge because you can't be using a shield or you're going to be losing some of that... That mm -hmm. bonus, I just I feel like it needs shield charge, or so. Absolutely. What I would recommend is you need like ice metal or something to even make it work. So. And then the thing is, you don't get that much of an armor boost. What do you get? Like a plus one with leather armor? Yeah. So plus two at melee. So. Oh uh, yeah, but uh, I don't know. It just seems like such a squishy class that you would never be in a fight long enough to get your full insight boost. Exactly. Unless you're fighting maybe a mag, and that's it. Even then, it's, you know. The in difference. PvP, it's it. I don't, I don't see it working in PvP at all. It's, it's supposed to be a PvP class, but not really good. Because it takes 30 seconds to build up, and, you know, a PvP match might be a minute. Mm -hmm. At most. So. Warring? Nah, warring. Even at, yeah, because you're running in, backing out, I don't know. Now we're going to get to some very different classes. Oh, I'm stuck here, wait. Yeah. I... And we're talking about the classes that are really non-combat based, so let's start with Merchant. Right now I am Merchant, so what you can do is you can spend 10 gold per level to instantly max out your tactics bonus. For some reason, for me, it costs 450 gold, but, you know, I need that extra damage. So if I'm down to, like, one tactic and I don't want to have to sit there and wait, basically shut off the game because I only have one tactic and it's awful, I'll buy it, you know? 450 gold, I just press my golden tactics. It's not that much. Bonus. You can get yeah, that from easily. killing just a few. Yeah. And it helps out a bunch. So at level 5, you get a tactics bonus of plus 6. And the city rock feather cost also reduced by 50%. And the trade post tax is reduced by 50%. So at, like, Happy Valley, which is the largest trade hub, there's a 15% tax. So this reduces it by 50% when buying or when selling items. So you get 7% off when you're buying an item. And when you're posting an item, it appears 7% cheaper. That's nice. So it, it can help you, you know, put up an item to be more expensive than someone else. But it'll also look cheaper. If you get what I mean. Because of the taxes. Because of the because you're getting a tax break, sort of. And then you can also build trade tents for 100 silk. So if you're trading a bunch, uh, you know, we were talking That's about great. this earlier. Trade tents are expensive. So. They are. They're about um, 90k with tax. I was selling them for 75k. That's yeah. without tax. Yeah. And I sold them pretty fast. Like, they're in demand. So you wouldn't want to spend that much just to do one. Like, especially if your trade is not worth that much. If you're doing, like, a 25k trade and you really need it. Yeah. It's not worth it. Yeah. So now, crafter, really, really good 
class, actually. Yeah, you you need to like you, having a crafter friend is yeah, so great. It is. So you you get this little robot minion, and he fights with you, and basically, um, he he gets you know a tactics bonus of plus six and all that, just like you, at um at of crafter, and you also get plus one item for every five crafted in bulk. So if I were to go craft five boots as a crafter, I get six, mm-hmm. and if you're running for Miracle Max Hat, or if you're crafting, bulk crafting, like for a kingdom, it's so good. So good. I, I don't think anyone has won Miracle Max since Crafter has come out that hasn't been Crafter. Yeah. Like, you, you need to be Crafter. And you also get the crafting time reduced by 30%, and you earn some more pages by crafting. So, again, if you're running for Miracle Max, you know, 30% off crafting, or cheap, you know, 30% faster, it's just so good. So. Now we go to Druid. Um, I have been Druid. I, I was not, I have not been, um, Crafter, but I have been Druid. And you can craft, so basically, you can, um, you're going to be using a staff, and also light armor. Weather armor, pretty yes. much. You don't want to use a tunic. Yeah. Because, why, why, you know, why you want to do this? Well, you get a 30% dodge with light armor, so you might as well use the leather armor. You know what I mean? It's only going to slow you down very slightly compared to a tunic, you're not even really going to notice it, and you get 30% dodge with it. And let me tell you, because you're not going to be getting some, you know, defensive bonuses, just like with Ninja, you need that. So get the leather armor. You also get, you know, tactics bonus max of plus six, so six more damage. And you, uh, your staff gives minions 100% of your tactics bonus. So that's why you want to use the staff. So if you have a bunch Mm -hmm. of trolls, if you have a pet, they're getting tactics bonus, so they're hitting harder. And, and you then, want to use pets with Druid. Yes. Pets, it, it's all focused around pets. Because pets, only, they also only um, rest for six hours if you have level five. So that's actually really good because pets can rest for days. Do they not age if you have Druid? Or do well, they it's age? saying the cap is going to be at six hours. Oh, that's great. So you can be calling in your dragon twice a day, two or three times a day, depending on you know, how much you play. So Now you also have Replenish and... You know, this is something that you get at level 1 for 0.7 HP per 1 HP. I'll explain how this works now. So mm-hmm. Basically, you try for health, okay? So, at level 5, it becomes 1.3 HP per 1 HP. So, let's say you have... Let's use some clean numbers. You only have 1 health right now. Mm-hmm. And I have max health. I have 135 health. So, basically, I will give up a bunch of my health, 50 health, and then you will get... You know, 1.3 times 50, so we're going to say near 65 health. All right, doing some rough math. So it's actually really good for wars because you can be, you know, healing people, making sure they don't die, mm-hmm. and uh, healing through shade as well, which is very important because, as you know, you can't heal through shade. Druid, though, you can heal through shade. So, yeah, that's why uh, all, if you're a druid, kingdoms will <laughs> just yeah, take you in. Kingdoms will love you. So, I was a druid. I did a lot of work, basically, for uh, kingdoms. Five dimension? Fifth yes, dimension? Fifth I mean. dimension. And Five helping dimension. Them up, helping them heal. Druid is probably the best non-combat class. Yep. For... Yes. It's a little weird. You're not doing the fighting, but you're, like, the medic. Yeah. So. Now we have Explorer. <laughs> the butt of a uh, PK. Yep. We got Explorer. I have been Explorer. Um, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> so put it bluntly. So, you get, you know, your plus six max tactics, and then you get your thirty speed on water and land. That's pretty nice. Yes, the because it's on um water. So you know, but again, do you really care how fast you're moving on water that much? Not because you're not, you can't water hunt. With yeah, them. you really can't. So, <laughs> it's supposed to be this uh, adventuring class, but. Yeah. It, there's just no benefit to it. You can just build flags yeah. for also, cheap anyways. What's also cool, too, is your tactics bonus builds twice as fast when no player buildings are visible. But so that's really middle, hard to find. It's in the middle of nowhere. Like, this class, in order to actually benefit from this class, you have to live in the middle of nowhere or always be somewhere in the middle of nowhere, like, in-game. So, And that's weird. pretty impossible because... Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting harder to do as, you know, this game gets bigger and all that, so... Uh, you also record locations using four refined oil. Basically, you'll open up your compass and it'll say, you know, this is X, you know, put like an X or something like that. I can't remember, but I think basically you make a territory map, except mm-hmm. it costs four refined oil, which means it costs basically four food. 
and we also have uh, the ability to recenter circle for 50 rock feathers. Now that sounds really good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. But then you so. realize you're using 50 rock feathers the whole time, and you're not really gaining that yeah. much because when it recenters, if you're at the edge of the circle, half of the circle is still going to be the old circle because. Yeah. And you also, uh, I'm using taunt again, and you also only can do it when there's you know, oh, no flags around. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I zoomed out. <laughs> do you know when that happens, when you zoom out and your screen gets all messed yeah. up? I don't like that feature. I, I'm pretty sure you can turn it off, actually. But... I, I will. Uh, yeah. So I should probably you restart the app. You can't recenter, you know, mm -hmm. all the time. So you have to, again, be in the middle of nowhere. If you don't want to make flags, then just a bunch of rock feathers. So it's just not a good class. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed our discussion today on uh, classes. Again, we'll be making videos where we talk about each class at length and make a bunch of recommendations coming in the future. But that was just our quick overview. So let's do it. PhD, best class. Best class? Uh, Legion, for Legion? me. All right. Legion's really good. I'll, it's in my top, top five, maybe. And I get there's a lot of classes. But for me, I think a really strong class it has to be the... Uh, militia. The Militia, exactly, yeah. The militia, it's got to be... I respect that. One. Yeah, militia is yeah. a great class. And I, I respect your decision for Legion, too. Worst class? Um, worst non-combat is... Well, no, no, worst, worst, worst class. All, uh, all explore. Classes. Explore. Explore? I, I would have to give it to Explore as well. Um, even though we said Mercenary's bad, it's not that bad. Mercenary's the worst uh, combat, combat class, but when you look at all the combat yeah, classes, yeah. they're all kind of... They have their own stuff so all right so there you have it guys thank you for watching and we'll be seeing you in the future with some yes, more we will. guides goodbye everyone